after I've whoa, why do I look so hard? Really? Yeah, I'm back with another video you already know. Today's video is going to be my in-depth makeup look where I show you guys all the products I use, where I put them, all that. Before we get into the makeup, I'm going to be showing you guys how I prep my face before I put my makeup on. I already had washed my face. I'm going to be doing a skincare routine soon, y'all. You guys have been begging me for a skincare routine. I'm going to get to that. Today's video is in partnership with the Swedish brand Foreo. talked about them before. You guys know how I feel about their products. Excuse y'all. Rude. Always interrupting me have seen me mention the ufo 2 in a lot of different videos so this is really nothing new to you guys if you guys have actually purchased this let me know how you guys feel about it because i honestly love it ufo 2 offers a spa experience spa like treatment at home in only 90 seconds there's LED light therapy, thermal therapy, and chirotherapy in the UFO 2. Blue LED light helps with imperfections such as acne and any blemishes that you have. I really recommend doing this before you do in your makeup because the chirotherapy helps with all the puffiness under your eyes and just everywhere in your face that you see puffiness at. I really recommend using it in the morning because it really like wakes you up. If I use it before I go to sleep, it's so relaxing. It leaves your skin feeling nice and fresh. It leaves it feeling soft. And like today, we're going to be using it before I do my makeup. It leaves a good base and a good complexion before you do your makeup. Make sure you have the Foreo app downloaded. The app also talks to you while you're doing this, so it feels like you're actually at a spa. you can just go ahead and turn your device off take the ring out and then take the mask out on with the rest of your skincare and now we're gonna go on to the in-depth makeup tutorial just finished doing my mask my spa -like treatment at home in only 90 seconds and i'm putting on moisturizer my skin feels so much more refreshed and balanced and even i love the outcome of how it makes my skin looks it looks makes my skin look bright and glowy i absolutely love it and it wakes me up perfectly you guys can check out the link in my description down below get it y'all I recommend it. It's amazing. It's worth the money. Trust. I wouldn't lie to you. I wouldn't lie. You guys know that. I always keep it 100. I always do. Now we're going to actually get into the makeup. I have not used this ring light in a lot minute. So like it kind of like it's really bright on my eyes. But we're just going to go with it. First thing I do is obviously moisturize after I have washed my face and all that. Next, I'm going to be using the Believe, Believe in True, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. This product is also amazing. It really helps refresh my skin. If you have dry skin, I also really recommend this product. I use it like as a moisturizer, but I use it as a primer as well. I have a fucking pimple on my nose. Like, okay, Rudolph. Okay. After I put on that moisturizer, I actually don't prime just yet. I actually do my brows. The product I use for my brows is the e.l.f. Lock On Liner brow cream or wait what is it called lock on liner and brow cream and i'm in the shade medium product is super cheap like not like not even five dollars and just use a angled brush i'm gonna go ahead and just outline my brows i'm not gonna show you guys exactly what i do because that can be a whole different video like my eyebrow routine or something like that so let me know if you guys like that because i've been doing my brows like a lot different lately i'm trying to do them a lot more thin so i'm gonna outline my brows and i'll be back all right so after i have them okay hold on Wait a damn minute. I don't have my rings on. That's not okay. Let me put my rings on. After I have... Whoa, why do I look so hard? Really? After I have my eyebrow... Jeez, I cannot talk. After I have my eyebrows... <laughs> Bro, I have like been brain farting since last night. Like, what the... After I have my eyebrows look hot. After I have my eyebrows like lined. Why can I think of the word? Okay, you guys get the point. After I 
do this i conceal them so the concealers i use are the maybelline fit me concealer in shade 25 medium and i use this concealer for the bottom of my brows to cover out the bottom of my brows lighter than my actual skin tone so i like to use it so it looks more sharp and defined on the bottom at the top i use the makeup revolution concealer in c10 because this is my skin tone and it just it just works okay a light concealer at the bottom and your actual skin tone concealer at the top to carve out the top brushes that i use i use this flat brush to carve out the bottom of my brows and then i use this really small little more defined brush to carve out the top of my brow i'm gonna do that and i'll be right back because this honestly takes the longest so i just finished my brows this is how they turned out i've been telling y'all i've been trying to do this thing lately and perfecto once i blend the top and the bottom i use this elf flawless concealer brush and it's like this it looks like this it's very fluffy and i love it it fits perfectly on the lids of my brows i mean the lids of my eye heck y'all instead of a brow gel i use equal styling gel to set my brows in place i feel like this also makes your brows look way more clean Clean. now we're gonna prime but before i prime i always get my beauty blender down this is the real techniques beauty blender y'all should know about this beauty blender everyone literally uses it i'm gonna go ahead and damp this i have like this water bottle like this water spray bottle and i just go ahead and damp it as much as i can to the point where it's like soaking wet because if it's soaking wet your makeup i promise you is gonna look really patchy i found that having your beauty blender damp really makes a difference in your makeup and when you don't have it damp your makeup is really patchy but when you have it damp it's like really nice smooth and you have just a smooth complexion after this is the primer i use it's the cover fx blurring primer put this all over my face i don't put it on my forehead because i barely even put makeup on my forehead so i just put this more on the bottom of my face i also use a second primer this is the ole hair with skin banana bright face primer with vitamin c i put just a little bit of this on not too much after concealer i use the makeup revolution concealer in c 10.5 if you guys think you guys are the same shade as me go ahead and get this concealer if you think you're a little lighter go ahead and get 10 yeah this one was a little lighter for me but it still worked out perfectly for my brows but i'm gonna be using c.5 c10.5 for my whole face this fucking pimple on my nose it's not that big but like still i don't even put this concealer all over my face i just made three lines under my eyes just like that i don't know if you guys can really see the light it's kind of bright but i just make three lines and when i'm pulling out the brush i make sure you see how much product that is i go like this so there's not as much product because i don't like having a lot of product on my face because it just makes it feel really heavy and then i just blend it with my damp beauty blender but make sure that this is all blended all right, so after i have that concealer blended I use the maybelline femi concealer in the shade medium brighten up my eyes a little bit so i just put a little dot under my eyes like where the crease was like the inner corner like i put it right there i put some on my nose and then a little bit on my forehead and my chin and blend her out and when i blend the concealer from under my eye the maybelline one i don't really like to put it right on my eye bags because i find that this concealer goes in into my fine lines under my eyes and it's just really not satisfying just blend like right under have everything blended it looks fine my complexion looks good i go ahead and use the laura mercier translucent powder every beauty guru everyone literally uses it i absolutely love it i finally invested in buying it i just take a little bit on my beauty blender and i don't bake i simply just press into my skin with the powder wherever i put the concealer i just press it into my skin and i also press it under my um brows so i can set the concealer there I like baking because i don't really do contouring and all that i just bronze up a little bit so baking would literally just be pointless for me i just love pressing it into it so i know my makeup is set and as y'all have not ate my stomach is like growling at me you need beta you need to eat i also take this real techniques brush 
no go tools brush and it looks like this the label kind of like went off so i don't know what kind of brush it is but i just take a little bit of powder and i set the top of my brows and just in case there's any loose powder i use this eco tools little big powder fluffy brush and then i just make sure i get the excess powder off got to do this make sure you guys set the concealer or set the middle of your brow so it's not so oily just one time i was doing my makeup and i literally put bronzer on before i put powder on i was like hold on I'm not doing my makeup right. I was like, what the hell? Put some Vaseline on because my lips are hella chapped. But after that, I used two bronzers. I used the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. You guys know how I feel about this product. I still have a lot of it left. I'm probably going to buy another one when I run out. But obviously, I hit pan on it. And then I use the Butter Bronzer in Light Bronzer 667. Five. I use this MAC like little angled brush. It says it's the MAC 168 brush. First I go in with my Park Avenue Princess Bronzer by Tarte. And then I just bronze up my face. I really like to bring it in a lot. I really like to just focus it like on the outer side of my face like this. But with the extra product I go into my face so I get a little bit more sculpted there. I to put quite a lot on my forehead, not because my forehead is big, well it kind of is, but like because it looks so white there from the powder and from the concealer, so I like to put more there. <coughs> I swear to God, y'all, I feel like I just sneeze in every single one of my videos, like I'm not even joking. And then I go in with my butter bronzer and then I just go on top of the tart bronzer. I like using two bronzers because I feel like... I don't really know if it makes like a bigger effect, but I just like using both of these products just because I love them both. Browsing, I like to use like a circle immersion. And also, I don't know why, but I just take like the excess product and like I just jab it on my nose. I don't know why I do that, but I just do. Next is highlight. I do highlight like in the middle of my makeup routine. I don't really do it after. I used to do it right after I finished all my makeup, but now I do it before. So, I use the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette and it comes with four different shades. I use the shade Maldives. I don't, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's this one right here. This one right here. I just use a fan brush. You guys can use any brush you want, but I like a fan brush because I feel like it really like, you can really see the highlight on your cheekbones. And I use this MAC 2, no idea, the freaking number rubbed off, but brush flat mac brush and then i highlight my brow bone i love a good brow bone highlight okay, so then the next step you could use your favorite like makeup setting spray i actually ran out of mine so it's bad for that but you guys can go ahead and use your favorite makeup spray to set everything on your face is lashes and all that this is a lash curler i use it's by revlon it can use the makeup i mean whoa whoa the maybelline the final lash waterproof mascara because no mascara works on me unless it's waterproof I curl my lashes just a little bit so then it blends in more with the lashes oh we're getting to an end i don't curl them too much because my lashes don't even stay up anyway so like it's just like you know and then i just put a little bit of mascara not too much just so my lashes blend in with the lashes the falsies and at this point you're obviously going to pick out your favorite lashes so that's what i'm gonna do a lot of people were asking me for to do like a lash collection video so if you guys would actually want that let me know go ahead and pick out the lashes i want to wear today we'll see which ones i pick out today they're probably gonna be the ones i've been wearing a lot lately just because i love them they're more natural but i'm gonna pick them out and i'll be back Alright, so like I said, probably going to pick out the lashes I've been wearing a lot lately. These are the lashes. They're from Lee or Lay Cosmetics. Um, if you guys go on my Instagram and you go on my highlight of me that just says video, you guys can find her Instagram. I'll try to put her Instagram on the screen. And also, I have a discount code, so I'll go ahead and put it on the screen because, you know, we love to save a little money. 
a lotion. Also, the lash glue that I use is the Duo Brush on Adhesive with Vitamins in it. It's this one. It's the clear one. My Lola says this one is actually good for you. So, my grandma says it's good for you. Then it's good for you. Alright, so I put my lashes on. Here are the lashes. Love them. And then I also put some bottom mascara on using the same mascara that I use for my lashes. It's time for lips. If you guys have any, like, good lip combos, let me know. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Lip Liner in Nude. It's, like, more of a pink, and I want, like, a more, like, a brown. So, let me know your guys' lip combos. I had that Vaseline on. I'm gonna take it off. My makeup sock. Yes, I got makeup sock. Everyone has to have a makeup sock or, like, a makeup like towel or rag whatever i know it's not just me honestly just line my lips so the top i go like this i do this face and i line the top don't overline my lips because i like the shape of my lips i like how my lips look like just naturally you guys can go ahead and use any gloss your favorite gloss sometimes it gets on my cupid's bow so like i just take like a q-tip or something or console and i just go like this and then it's gone <laughs> that my in-depth makeup tutorial this is literally like my everyday makeup if i'm going out this is the products i use where i put them how i use them you already know hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys go check out for rayo in the description down below you guys the products are worth it the money is worth it you guys will literally love it like i'm not even kidding like for real but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on all my socials. They're always in the description. So my TikTok is down below. Follow me on TikTok, period. Make sure you guys have your post notifications on to be aware when I post a new video. I know YouTube is a tweak, but just have it on just in case. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you, Vita Mafia. Bye.